hello everyone uh, welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to talk about a very important keyword that is uh, super keyword in java so basically there are three usage of uh, super keyword in java uh, in three ways we can use super keyword so first with variables okay so let's talk about all of them so first is use of super with variables okay so we can use super keyword to access the data member or field of parent class okay it is used of it is used if parent class and child class have same fields okay so take an example if you have a same variable in parent class as well as in child class then um, to access the super uh, super class uh, you know variable we can use super keyword and uh, another usage is use of super with methods okay so it should be used if subclass contains the same method as parent class okay so we should use super keyword to access the because since we have a uh, same method in parent and child okay so we should use super keyword to access the method from parent class okay so uh, as we have seen in the first example this is with variable and this is with methods okay if you have same variable in so first example related to the variables okay if you have same field or you can say variable in <clears throat> parent class as well as in child class okay so distinct to distinguish, distinguish uh, to get the to get access of parents variable we should use a super keyword similarly for methods okay and the third one is super is used to invoke parent class constructor okay so i'll show you with the help of an example uh, for all of this usage okay so there also we'll see how we can use uh, super keyword with constructors and at last i'll show you a real usage in the program like how how we use uh, super keyword in uh, in real world okay so my eclipse is already open so let me create one project here so i'll give project as super super keyword demo and here uh, in src folder let me just create a class let's see emp parent and uh, so since uh, i have just i did not create create any uh, package so it is showing default package so let me just create one more class emp child okay so i have uh, two classes one is parent class and another one is employee child class so in parent class let's see uh, let's have couple of uh, variables so int emp id okay and let's see string emp name okay couple of variables and let's have the same variables in child class as well okay now i'll do one thing i'll extend parents class parent class okay so parent class is emp parent okay so my parent class is this one so i'm just extending from uh, my child class okay and let's do one thing let's uh, initialize the variables as well so here i'll give Uh, one two three employee id and let's see employee name is uh, james here okay similarly initialize the sorry like this and similarly initialize the variable from for uh, parent classes child class as well okay so one two three four employee id and employee name let's say alvin okay so in both the classes i have a couple of uh, variables and let's have one uh, <coughs> method here public void show or record method show record method okay to just print the values uh, these values so 
let me give some print statement employee id okay and uh, here we con concatenate uh, variable and uh, similarly for employee name as well okay employee name okay so our class is ready both the classes uh, parent as well as child so parent i have two variables uh, i have initialized them i have given the value one two three and gems similarly for uh, parent class uh, we have sorry for child class we have both the values for employee id and employee name and using this method i am just printing the values okay and let's create one test class for from that test class we'll call we'll create the object of child class and we'll call that show record method okay so let's see class name is test class i'll select public static void main and i'll do one thing i just create the object of uh, child class okay and emp new and let me access that method show show record okay uh, so let me just run this program so here we go it prints the values from child class okay because we have created the object of child class and preference will be given to child uh, instance variable okay so that's why it prints uh, the values from child class only so now the question is suppose i want to access the properties from parent class so how do we do that right because we have the same variables in parent class as well so how we can do that so here simply we'll use super keyword okay and let me just run it here we go one two three gems so values from parent class so this is how we can use the uh, super keyword the first usage uh, with variables okay now second with methods okay so let me just create one method here public void um, emp method and i'll just give some statement here this is parent method okay and let's have the same method in child class as well and here i'll give child okay and i'll do one thing i'll i'll call this method from the method which i have created show record so let me just call this method so i'm calling this method from internal method only which is show record because ultimately this show record is called by uh, test class okay this will be show, uh, show record will be called from test class okay so this is how we can do that so let me just run it So this is child method okay so now suppose you want to access because since you have uh, same method in child as well as in parent so suppose you want to access this one so how do you do that so here we'll simply write super dot employ method okay so let me run it so here we go this is parent method so this statement is executed now let's the third is super is used to invoke parent class constructor so how we can work with constructor so let me let me just remove this okay and here i'll use uh, constructor employee parent and uh, here write some statements okay so this is parent constructor constructor 
about uh, okay and here i'll also delete this one okay and i'll simply create constructor in child class as well okay and i'll do one thing i'll yeah, name it of this Anyways, we don't need this as of now, but let it be like that, okay? And what happened? Oh, sorry. Child like this, and we have to remove this one. Okay. So this is a child constructor. Okay, and this is parent constructor. Parent constructor, and this is child constructor. So what we'll do, we have to call a uh, super class constructor. So here simply we'll use super keyword. Okay. And so this will initialize the values from or it will call parent class constructor. Okay. So simply we have to uh, mention super keyword with parenthesis. Uh, similarly like uh, method or constructor. Okay. So simply by writing this, we can call parent class constructor. So let me just run this program. No, no need to call this. Yeah. So here we, ha we have created the object of child class. So let me just run it. So here we go. This is child constructor. This is parent constructor first, and this is child constructor. So what happens is. Uh, the moment when we create the object okay so object is created here so as soon as object object is created the this uh, constructor will be initialized right so this constructor will be invoked and uh, here we have mentioned one statement super so first it will go to parent class okay it will call the parent class constructor uh, by using this super keyword okay so it will go to parent class so it will execute this statement and come back here and execute the rest of the code from the child cl class con constructor okay so this is how we can use with constructor now here uh, uh, even if you don't mention here okay like super keyword so by default it will go to the uh, what you can say the pointer first go to this constructor okay parent class constructor and it will call that okay it assumes that i mean compiler will assume that uh, a super keyword is written here like uh, it will be invoked by default okay so let me just run it here we go this is parent class constructor, constructor and this is child so still even if you don't have super keyword here because since we have uh, you know i mean arguments are we don't have any arguments here right zero argument so no need to call explicit explicitly right now at last we'll see a scenario where we have to call uh, super keyword x from child class okay so we'll see how we can do that so let me do one thing i'll uh, I'll initialize I'll remove these values okay and I'll initialize with the help of constructor here and this one as well link employee name I'll remove this statement this dot ploy id is equal to emp id this dot mp name emp name okay so this is how we can initialize the uh, values with the help of uh, constructor okay so in parent class i have two variables and i'm initializing through constructor employee parent okay and uh, 
I'll do one thing here I'll delete these two variables okay and let's have a uh, first let's comment this okay and here I have already one constructor and in this constructor let's have another variable int uh, emp age employee age okay so here I'll initialize the value of employee age this dot emp age is equal to emp age so this is how we can initialize and uh, yeah so it doesn't uh, make any uh, it doesn't make any difference if we have uh, this show record method so let's let it be like this and uh, okay so right now I have not created any object so from here if you see see we have created one constructor here in parent class okay so I'm initializing the values okay and this class child class extends parent class okay employee parent so here I have one variable employee age so I want to initialize using this uh, child class constructor okay but here it gives an error right so implicit super constructor employee parent is undefined so what it says that uh, because by default it will call to this constructor okay but here we have two parentheses so that is undefined right we have to ultimately we have to initialize all the properties right so here it gives an error saying that implicit super constructor employee parent is undefined must explicitly invoke another constructor so we have to invoke that constructor so how we can invoke that so like this employee ID employee name like this we have to invoke the parent class constructor so explicitly we have to mention super keyword here and here we have to give three variables three parent uh, parameters okay em employee ID and we have string the name like this so see the error will be gone right now error is gone right so we have three variables so I'm initializing those values by this constructor okay so this super keyword he here we have mentioned explicitly so this will call parent class constructor and initializing initializing the values from here okay and uh, this employee age will be initialized by this statement okay and later on we'll print all these values so let's have one more uh, print statement here employee age so simply we have to do like this now let's do one thing let's create the object so as soon as we create the object the constructor will be called but this is three parameters uh, parameterized constructor right so we have to give three values here what are those employee ID employee name so employee ID one two three four five employee name let's say John and uh, what is the third age let's say 25 now let me just run this program Oh, sorry we are not calling that method let me just run it here we go employee ID John and 25 the values which we have provided by constructor okay so this is how we can uh, work with constructor okay so this is the explicit way to call the parent class constructor okay so in the next video we'll talk about uh, a very important topic again okay so that is uh, exception handling in java so thank you guys for watching have a nice day bye bye